Derek, your star. Yeah, so Thanks for all thinking about that thing in the other room. That's perfect. Yeah, yeah. Great. Thanks, Derek. And it's nice to choose that. Yeah. We've got a full makeover on Thursday. Oh, great. That's right, you've taken apart. It was interesting to watch him. He actually pulled everything out and was refining the belt bits inside and everything. Um, oh, boy, they're geniuses. Well, it's tuned quite regularly, but it was just. He was always saying it kind of needed a once over. So we said we may as well get it done. That's brilliant. That's great. That room is lovely because there'll be lovely light in there. Mm Listen to something else again, just to get, just, just, just to get, in, not the beef to play it, but just, just to remember, you know? Is that okay? Oh, I need to put this in. And uh, we, did, we did something with the slowed down blackbirds behind it. Oh yeah, you were doing those. That was the key. I know, I put them in everywhere. It's, it's like, it's kind nice. It's oh. like your little sprinkle tola. Mm. La la la. Sprinkle tola. <laughs>
funny, like, a big thing of this was always like, where will we meet? You know, you're coming from one thing, I'm coming from another thing, and how, how do we find a way to uh, not just, like, you know, we could have at any point sat down and been like, let's write a very basic tune. Would have been easy as punch, and let's just learn it, and that's it. But trying to find a way to create something that's totally of one person and totally of another person, where you're both actually putting in the same amount of input and you're not just playing someone else's music or being like, oh yeah, I'll play along to this thing somebody's written. It, it, it's trying to write something that comes up both of you like at once and together and then and then you get in that space and you, yeah, and you have to like not think about it. It's amazing, the thinking, not thinking. This is about letting the impulses kind of control you, which is lovely. Yeah, like a whole new pattern. Yeah. Of, yeah. So, like often in me when you're playing music, you're not totally free to be yourself if you're playing music with other people for some end purpose. It's got like a, you maybe put the need for the end product over the being of yourself. Anytime you come together to make something with somebody else, you bring all your own patterns that you're used to doing, don't you? And yep. I've never seen it so rough. Yeah. Boiling. You were saying it was like... It was the sea was boiling. Yeah. You know, it was, it was bubbling.
Do you want bread? Coffee for Bayless. This time of the day is magic. It's the golden light, the golden hour. Mm -hmm. It's a nice time of the day. Golden hour is when the sun just hits some certain point on the horizon and everything is washed in uh, golden light. It's a completely different light to any, any other part of the day. The landscape of Leitrim, what does that do for you? Um, consciously, like, I don't consciously think about it, but definitely people comment about it and stuff I do, which has made me think about it then. Like, you know, having that amount of space in terms of, like, hearing, like, in a city, there's always noise from other stuff. Like, I know in the countryside, too, like, you've got all the animals and the birds, but you have so much more space to hear or process maybe sound because there's not as much coming at you. I guess that's what it is. It's less frequent. So I think definitely like living rurally has definitely influenced the music I create just because it's I've had more time to have that space to think about sound mm -hmm. without as much sound kind of coming in all the time. I guess you can not get influenced by where you are, no matter where it is, if you're from there or just, or living there or passing through, or everywhere is gonna influence you somehow. Like I had never encountered the idea of almost the same note and, and you know and I was so afraid I actually went but didn't take out my fiddle I'll never forget it. he did it in the church in oh during during Hunter's, Hunter's Moon. Moon the drone orchestra yeah 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 oh and like I went with my exactations and my proper music and my rules and everything and I was going well I'll go anyway for a minute and somebody said well they're gonna you know and then he kind of arranged that you I might be wrong here but I think he arranged he might play a G yeah, or something. I folded my arms, I'll never forget it. Folded my arms and I went, right, they're going to play a G. Someone get me a pint. Someone get me something, because I'm not saying... And it's that funniness, you know, the dog was there for about 60 seconds to three minutes. But when you stopped looking and you just started listening, even as a listener, that went on for about 20 minutes. And it was one of those moments that changed my life. The same note was played, but then the cadences started coming in. Then the dynamics. Then somebody would take it for a moment. 
the same note. One note. But it's that connectivity, it's that little bit of interaction with your feelings. That's the important thing that I've discovered with music. It's, it's if you don't have the feelings, you can't really give it to somebody. Mm. You can only give it to yourself. But here, these ones. Oh yeah, there's loads. They're very plump, aren't they? They're what? Very. Plump. They're big, yeah. yeah. They're so big. And they're perfect now after the first bit of frost we've yeah. had. Yeah. They'll probably be sweet now. Maybe I'll make some tea. tea can you make tea no, out of them? No, there's a stone in them. Don't can, forget. Can you make tea out of them? I'd say that was said now, um, very definitively. Is that your, is that here? Yeah. Is that your dad's cow? Well, the neighbors. Do you know what that cow is called? Like, would your dad have had names for all the cows? Probably not anymore. Maybe for cows, because you keep them longer, because they, they produce calves. 
Yeah. So maybe cows, but definitely you don't name cattle. Cattle is calves. Cattle are the ones that are going to be sent off for the slaughter. And how? And why are cows different than cattle? Because you keep them longer because they'll produce in, the, in generally like they'll give you at least five calves, maybe ten. So most of the cattle that's sold is male cows? Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Bullocks, they're called. And how do they pick the one that like stays to become the big man cow? The big man cow? Yeah, you that's know. That's gorgeous. <laughs> You mean the bull? The bull. Yeah, yeah. The so man cows cow. are only... Well, the woman cow will have a chat with the other farmer and the man cow and the baby cow will have their cats. So cows okay. are, are just female cows. That's the problem. And everyone okay. every goes, oh, look at them cows. And I'm going, well, some of them are, some of them aren't. Gotcha. Oh, lovely. This is beautiful. Look at that color. That would be beautiful. Very, very nice. Oh. So ceremonious. <gasps> it's full? Uh huh. Totally full. It's very cold out there. Northwesterly storms coming in. Uh huh. Slowly going away from us, you know. Yeah, yeah. The hail has stopped. Oh no, but even the moon. Oh. In a couple of million years, it'll going? be gone. It's really? spinning away from us. 20 centimeters a year? Really? That's yeah. a lot. Uh -huh. Well then, I wonder where it will go. Oh, listen to Varna. I've always been curious with the way Natalia makes music. To do it in music, which is the only one I really, really know, I suppose, you have to explore to kind of let go. You know, if, if I'm to collaborate with anybody, there's an awful lot you have to not bring. Because otherwise, they, they're just enhancing you. And that's, I've no interest in that kind of music.
connection to a place in that way. Like, um, you know, I have connections to like, you know, Ukrainian language and customs and food because that's the household I grew up in and the people around us. And I definitely feel lots of connections to American things I would have grown up with, you know, like flea markets and driving mm. movies and diners. Mm. And I love like, that about you too. Yeah, like yeah. American ways of life that I would have loved or, you know, felt were part of my own growing up. But it was always through an immigrant's point of view. It could never be any other way. And so, I don't know. I'm more, I, like, you know, I, I'll never be anything but an, a, a, an immigrant, a foreigner from from off, as they say, and I like that term, they're from off. Is that why your music is slightly genreless? I think so. I think so. I think that's actually a luxury, to be honest with you. The way you play trad, would people feel like that was very clear, or do you, are you not very... You see, I've got this theory, like it's always county player, fiddle player is generally put at certain festivals and things because then they can box me and that's very important that then it can be oh he's from County Clare he's going to play music from County Clare that rarely happens because I'm from here but I'm just an, an, a person in Ireland who plays music when you grow up with it it becomes part of your emotion prolific of growth happens on about a 10 metre border between two different types of land. Rock, bog, that's where the madness happens in it because they get the advantage of both. The ley line, the energy of two different rocks mm -hmm. beneath you, at the very least will have a different magnetism, mm -hmm. has to. It's madness for growth. What we're doing with this, there is no audience. I guess it's just purely getting a chance to inspire each other to then go on and see if that changes what we do creatively outside of this. What this does too is, it's another lit little in to how you think. Without again being able to put a word on this, I can still picture how you think and play now. Mm -hmm. Which is, that sounds as if I view sussed. I don't, you know that. Yeah, but yeah. I'm closer to sussing it or I'm more comfortable with what I understand yeah. you yes. to do. Yeah, and I think you me. Yeah from barely playing. <laughs> yeah. And then now we can play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's 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 lovely. <laughs>